Badkiz responds to accusations about manipulating music chart rankings. They're preparing a comeback. Badkiz's agency has decided to take legal action against rumors claiming that they had manipulated music chart rankings. The group recently switched agencies from Zoo Entertainment to US Entertainment. Their new agency confirmed that the group's previous agency has not used chart manipulating services, and vowed to take strong legal response to the false rumors. The rumors about chart manipulations is completely untrue. In order to start anew, Badkiz moved their agency to ours last year. Their previous agency didn't release an album for them during the past two years, and we confirmed that they did not manipulate chart rankings. As false rumors continue to spread rapidly, we will take strong legal measures for defamation. US Entertainment. They also revealed that Badkiz is preparing their first comeback in years. The group plans to release new music this summer, which will be the first album under their new agency. Badkiz is currently preparing a new album. They'll be making a comeback in the summer, so please look forward to it. US Entertainment. A political candidate revealed during a press conference that an under-marketing company has been using illegal hacking methods to manipulate music charts. He named multiple artists who had used their services, including Badkiz. Blackpink Jenny's Gentle Home is almost open and everyone is in awe of the giant dollhouse. Jenny is a creative genius. The Gentle Home pop-up store collaboration between Blackpink's Jenny and Gentle Monster is finally semi-open, and everyone who's seen the giant dollhouse can't believe their eyes. It's been a while since Blackpink's Jenny began working with popular Korean glasses brand Gentle Monster, but their collaborations just keep getting bigger and bigger. Not only has Jenny designed her own Gentle Monster glasses, she's also created a brand new line in conjunction with the brand, Gentle Home. Back in March 2020, Marie Claire Korea released its April issue featuring Jenny in her 1996 sunglasses on the cover. The magazine revealed that Jenny herself had a huge creative role in both the glasses design and Gentle Home itself. Alongside serving as promotion for the sunglasses, the magazine release also marked the launch of the Gentle Home collection. The online range included rings, lipstick, and cell phones, all of which were made out of colorful, edible candy. But things didn't stop there. As well as selling online, Gentle Home and Jenny decided to open a physical store too. Construction has been underway in Seoul for several weeks now, and Gentle Monster has kept Jenny fans fed with progress pictures of the store, which even features photos of Jenny's dogs, Kuma and Kai. Now, the store is finally semi-open to the public, and everyone who's seen it. The front of the store features a real-life Gentle Home, a gigantic dollhouse that's almost life-size. Each room contains figurines of people wearing the sunglasses Jenny designed. The curtain-covered building behind the dollhouse is the Gentle Home store itself, where Jenny's sunglasses and collection goods will be sold to the public. Due to COVID-19, novel coronavirus, safety restrictions, it's still unclear when the main store will be opening. Until then, fans are having plenty of fun snapping photos of the exterior display, which is just so quintessential.